So you want to get rid of this deal keeper on your computer. I'm going to show you how to get rid of it on Google Chrome, IE, and Firefox manually. It's three steps. It's three very easy steps. And first thing you gotta do is you gotta go into your control panel and you get you go into the add remove programs or add remove uh, features. And we have to uninstall the deal keeper. So go here, we'll go to uninstall program. And then you simply wanna look for deal keeper. If it's in here, go ahead and uninstall it. That's the first step. Some of you guys may not have it in here. It may be just as simple as it only in extension or add-ons. So if you don't have it in here, don't worry about it. If you do, uninstall it. Next step is to remove the keeper from the extension. So let me show you on, I'll start off with Google Chrome first. Basically, we're gonna remove uh, the deal keeper from the extensions, and then we're gonna reset the browser. So Google Chrome, so top right-hand corner, you can see right here, we're gonna click on that, and we are gonna go down to settings. And from here, we are going to go and click on extensions. Let me zoom in here, extensions. And then right here, if you have Deal Keeper in here, what you simply do is you delete it. And while you're in this page too, if there's anything else in here you guys are not familiar with, go ahead and delete it, because it is possible that depending on where you download it or where you got, however you got infected with this uh, Deal Keeper, it could be under a different name as well. It could be under, for example, it could be like, um, iSoft, iTube Studio, it could be anything. So if you're not familiar with any of these other ones, go ahead and just delete it. After you do that, the last step is you wanna reset your Google Chrome. So what you do is you go click here on settings, and then we're gonna scroll down to the very bottom, and it says right here where it says show advanced settings, we're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna scroll all the way to the very, very bottom, and it says reset browser settings. Don't forget, once you reset your browser settings, you're gonna lose everything. Your browsing history is gonna be gone, your favorites, your bookmarks. It's basically gonna be like a fresh install of Google Chrome. Once you reset it, close reopen Google Chrome and you guys should be good to go. Now let's move to Internet Explorer. Okay, so open up Internet Explorer, top right hand corner, you'll see this little wrench thing up here, or depending on what version of uh, IE you're using, and we will go to add-ons. They call it add-ons on here instead of extensions like it does in Firefox. So right under here, tools and extensions. If you see the deal keeper in here, you simply want to do is highlight it and disable it. Next step you want to do is go ahead and reset um, IE. And to do that, top right hand corner again, click on that little wrench. And this time we'll go down to Internet Options. This window here will pop up you want to click on the tab advanced right here click on advanced and it says reset here and then you want to go ahead and reset here and you also want to click on delete personal personal settings now don't forget once you reset this you're going to lose all of your favorites it's going to clear your browsing history uh, all your bookmarks are going to be gone it's basically going to be like a fresh install so go ahead and click on reset close and reopen and you guys should be good to go now let's move on to Mozilla Firefox Okay, Mozilla Firefox is open. You wanna to go to the menu, tap up here where it says tools. If you don't have this up here, just right click anywhere on top of here, like this, right click and click on menu bar. Then you wanna click on tools and we wanna to go to add-ons. Click on add-ons, click on extensions here and make sure the deal keeper is not in here. Anything else that you're not familiar with, go ahead and remove or disable it. Now what we wanna do is we want to go ahead and reset Mozilla Firefox. Several ways you can do that. But the one way is basically go back to the menu bar. You see the help up here, click on the help. And you wanna go down to troubleshooting information. Click on that. Top right hand corner. What do you know? Reset Firefox. Don't forget guys. When you reset Firefox, you're going to lose everything. Your history, your bookmarks, your favorites. Uh, it's going to delete all your cookies. Uh, so it's basically, it's basically going to be like a fresh copy. Once you click on reset Firefox, follow the steps, close and reopen. You guys should be good to go. If you guys are still having problems, comment in the bottom. Because I know some cases where uh, it was like in a control panel, the deal keeper, but it was under like a different name. I, don't, I forget which name, but it could be under something different. 
Um, so yeah, any questions, comment on the bottom. Thanks, guys. Bye.